In this video, we're going to go through how you can get data from your SharePoint sources into your Power BI reports. We're going to look at how to get data from a SharePoint list, from a file in a SharePoint folder, or multiple files in a SharePoint folder. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanana and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's go through how you can get data using some examples. Here we have created a uh, grocery sales SharePoint list. It's created within my own uh, SharePoint site that I created for testing purposes and this list is imported uh, importing data from the grocery sales file that I use except it's a it's a list here um, and it has just some information about uh, different orders uh, different products when they were purchased um, also how much they cost and their uh, unit price and quantity now we want to connect to this SharePoint list into our Power BI report. So how do we do that? So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to go to Power BI desktop here. We hit get data and we'll hit more. So that will give us some of the other options that is available for you to get data from in Power BI. So if we type here SharePoint, that will bring us a couple of um, options to use. Uh, for now we'll use SharePoint online list that's because my list is an online list if you're using SharePoint on premises you would use the bottom one but they pretty much do the same thing so let's hit connect. Now I'll ask you for a site URL let's look at the site URL here and pay attention to the URL here you have the main SharePoint site URL and then your site or the my site is after the sites and then this is the kind of folder file location within that site so all we want is um, up to solutions abroad which is the site URL we'll just copy that and then paste it here and we'll hit OK Now after a couple of seconds, that should load some data for you. It will load all the available SharePoint list for you to pull from this site. And you'll notice that we have one, the one that we are using. This is a grocery sales. So this is what we need. Let's check that and hit transform data. Let's look at what we, um, what we have brought in. So pretty much you're done. The one thing to bear in mind is that uh, the SharePoint list includes uh, hidden columns, hidden fields that you might want to use uh, to, to monitor uh, changes in the list itself or some other uh, connections to other records. But from here, all we need are the columns or fields that were visible for us in our view. But don't worry because you can easily exclude these extra columns and fields by just selecting the ones that you need. So in this case, we just pick out those uh, fields that are visible for us in the view. Hit remove other columns and then hit close and load. So now that will bring your SharePoint list data into your Power BI report for uh, visualization. So here you go, this is the data that we have in our SharePoint list imported into our Power BI desktop report. So that's pretty easy, right? Let's go through a different example. Maybe uh, you don't have a SharePoint list, maybe you have a, a file within your SharePoint site in a folder somewhere and you wanna connect to that data. How do you do that? Well, let's go through this example again. So here, instead of pulling this data from a SharePoint list, I've prepared a sample file here, which which is grocery sales and it's an excel file that is uploaded in this uh, in this root folder in the shared documents folder here and if i open it you recognize it because it has the exact same values as the list so it just has sort of product information, order information, quantity, unit price, things like this, exactly like the list, except we want to pull from this file so that when this file gets updated, so does our Power BI report. So how do we do that? Let's go back to our get data here again. So let's hit get data, more. Again, let's type SharePoint. And now instead of selecting online lists, we want to select the SharePoint folder. 
hit connect and then again we'll paste the site URL so we already know that it's the um, up to solution subword at the end we hit OK so now what it will give you it will give you a list of all the files available for you to pull from the site itself um, you'll see that we have the grocery sales excel file that we want to pull but also you'll notice that it includes some other files that you might not want to work with right now so uh, let's hit transform data for now and what we'll do uh, simply we'll just filter out just the file that we want to use so we'll hit text filters is equals so that will just filter out that file that we want grocery sales and then we'll just click the binary here so that will convert this uh, this file into a set of tables so we have the sales table that we can choose so we'll just select table there and there you go so we'll just promote that to headers and yeah you have now the data that you uh, exactly have the same in the SharePoint list except now this is pulling from the Excel file now you might find some instances where you need to combine multiple files into one report um, and they're split because maybe you extract them monthly uh, or annually and you want to make sure that you're able to uh, create a data model that incorporates all of them now uh, Power BI provides a solution for this too so let me show you how to do that so here's an example of what that is so you'll see here we have annual grocery sales folder and in this folder we have some yearly data of groceries so essentially uh, it's the data for grocery sales except it's only for that year so 2018 it just shows you all those sales and then 2019 similar thing and 2020 etc etc um, they all follow the same format because they just get extracted like that um, and it's important for them to stay the same format so we can create our automation to combine all of them into one so assuming that you have uh, multiple files with the same format in the same folder uh, let's see how we can consume all of this and combine them into one in power bi what we'll do is we'll create another query i renamed the other queries so that we don't confuse them um, but anyway let's go to hit new source and more again let's type sharepoint and then we'll select folder again So now again site URL is the sites after the sites solutions abroad hit OK and now we will hit transform data again and we'll work through it there so now you'll see we have the yearly data that we have and then we also have the file that we don't want to use so this is the one that we used in an earlier video it's just a single file that compiles everything we, we want to exclude this so when you connect to a SharePoint site using this option in Power BI it will just give you all the available Excel files that you can use uh, for reporting uh, but you want to make sure you only include those files that are in a specific folder Folder. so for example here we have some files uh, four files here in total but we only want to get the files that are in this folder annual grocery sales so what we'll do and the easiest way to do it is filtering the folder path so if you expand the folder path you will see that uh, those first three uh, comes from annual grocery sales and then the rest is uh, this one which is at the root so what we'll do we will do another text filter here text equals to so only give me those files within those within that folder and from here and they made it super simple it's really cool when I did this um, you all you need to do is click combine files it will generate a couple of functions parameters um, and some automations for uh, combining all these files into one uh, so let's try to combine this so what they will do is we'll ask you to um, you know choose a sample file to reiterate across all the other files in your list so we'll say okay um, we'll use the first file as a sample but it it can be anything as long as they are the same format so we'll say for every single uh, file we want to get the table and that's what we want to combine together 
And you'll see that that's all you needed to do. It's combined all of those files into one single query. And it's also included this column, this field source name. So you can distinguish between the different files where it's coming from. If you want to follow what happened step by step, let's go through it together. So let's go back up in the applied steps. So this is the part where we filter just the files that we want in that folder. So first they've hidden any attributes that are um, uh, false. Uh, I don't really know what that does. Uh, invoke, so we've it's created a function. And this function is the one that uh, you did earlier, but in a, uh, in a window. So basically it's saying uh, for every single file in this list, invoke this custom function. And this custom function is this transform file here, the fx uh, function. And all it does is it says, okay, for every single uh, file that you go through, extract table one from it. And that's all it does. So here is the sample file that we use, which is it's just the first file, so it's just zero. So the first one that you, you find. And then this is what we use in the function, is the sample file. And then this is the example of how it extracts. But it's not really used, so I mean, you can delete it if you want, but it's not loaded into your data model. So you'll see that if we go back up, the invocation, the function, generates a new field that essentially converts the binary content that we have here into a table, so something that we can combine. And you'll see that if we go to the invocation, it will create a transform file here. So this is what it converts it to. And then that's what we use to kind of expand on and combine. So we ex it excludes everything else, and then it expands all of that table into one. And that's really it. So now you're able to get data from a SharePoint list uh, into Power BI. You can get data from a single Excel file uh, pretty easily. And also you can do a combination. So you can combine multiple files without having to consolidate it in Excel um, into a single query in your Power BI report. And that's really it for this video. I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to start bringing in your SharePoint files and data into Power BI. Leave a like this video if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below and thank you so much for watching guys. See you again on the next one.